Bet you didn't think you'd be seeing this thing again. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing another video, but something pretty pretty incredible happened. Uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a, an old uh, vintage or antique fly book that has a, a dry fly box and the wet fly sleeves. I did a video on this. I'll link it at the top. It's it's um, I bought it like five years ago. It had a bunch of brand new flies in it. I did a lot of research on it. I figured out how old it was, where it came from, the store that it was bought at, and um, and 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 who tied the flies to. And uh, if you click that link uh, and you like old stuff, I bet you you're gonna like it. So let's talk about why I'm doing this video. This this will be the last video. I unless something other crazy and something else crazy happened, but I doubt it. Uh, over the weekend, I was at Fly Fest. Fly Fest is something that happens in Catskills. It's it's um, it's just a whole bunch of people get together and tie flies. It's it's not it's not anything crazy. There's like no sponsors. There's none of that sort of stuff. And it's at the Catskills Fly Fishing Center and Museum. So Catskill Fly Fishing Center and Museum is in uh, Livingston Manor, and it's been around for a long time. It's got a nice big room and a whole bunch of people can tie in it and uh next year i'll i'll make sure i do a video or something before it happens just in case anybody's interested in going uh so when i was there somebody came by to talk to me they picked up the fly book they were looking at it because i brought it with me and they thought yeah, that thought was really cool they're flipping through stuff they're looking at the flies this thing's you know really incredible and it was sitting in front of me like like this Right on the desk like this, and I had an angle that I was looking at it right, right to the side of this fly box, and I don't know. Maybe you can see. I don't know if you see it, but but um, again, I've had this for five years, and you see this little piece of metal right here, right round piece of metal. Now, at first, I the, the the immediately the first thing I thought of. And this is ridiculous. But the first thing I thought of was a pair of hackle pliers. Right? I was like, kind of looks like some hackle pliers. And if you look, this is exactly how much it was sticking out. I know this because the way I grabbed it, I grabbed it with a pair of tweezers. Now, you can see it's just barely, whoops, it's just, just barely sticking out. And I tell you, I was like, what in the world is this? I immediately grabbed, oh yeah, tweezers. I grabbed some tweezers and I went in here and I started to pull it out like this. And right about now I'm totally baffled. I'm like, what in the world is this? Pull it out and this is what I got here. And for a, for a second I'm like, is this like some sort of hinge or something or a bind that I just pulled like the binding out of the maybe something to make it stiffer something to to give you um, I don't know to, to, to make the the end of the binding of this square but I pulled it out from here not from here so uh, you know it just you know mentally I didn't know what was going on and then so then I, I pulled this here look at this look at that it's a knife, and I, and I was just I was like what I could not believe what I can't I could not believe that this was happening. I was flipping out, and the guy that was in front of me, I think he was a little bit like, uh, well, you know, what's the big deal? But I, I mean, you have to see it from my perspective. He he never saw the videos on this. He never he didn't know that I've been looking at this thing with like a magnifying glass for the last month um, and um, I mean I, I was just absolutely flabbergasted. I turned over, I looked, she, John was like, I was like, John look at this, because John Brasser was sitting next to me and he was like, no way! <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't believe me, the guy's just like, uh, but so what is this? Now here's where, this is, this is really where I'm like, uh, I'm, I, the first thing I thought of, this is the first thing I thought of, is is that, okay, this is how they cut maybe the, the um, I don't know, the, the, the leader or something, right? Or the, the tippet. They cut the tippet away from the, 
the fly. And it's really amazing. It's amazing because it shows you how much we have changed. Like, the sport has changed completely. And I... It's just, it's incredible. And the guy... I'm not going to say his name, but the guy that was there, he's like, you know, um, I don't think that's what it is. And he said, you know, I don't take fish a lot, but, you know, sometimes I, I you know, I, I take one and I eat, and, you know, we cook it up and, and eat it, and I'm like, okay. And he's like, I'm fairly certain this is for, for cutting a fish up. And he immediately put his pinky in this little thing right here, and... He's like, you know, you just, you just, you know, you just put it in there and you cut them and they bleed out and then and, and you throw it in your, your little, your little box. And I'm like, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. I, 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 I'm, I am in, I'm an idiot, right, for even thinking that, that, um, this was the cut, and John even too, he's like, and I, when I showed John, he's like, what is this thing, like to cut the leader or something? And it's just, it just goes to show you how much we've changed, uh, you know, as, as, as fly fishermen, that it's so much about catch and release that the first thing I thought of was to cut the leader, because that's the only thing you cut. There is nothing else that needs to be cut when you're, when you're fishing, right? There's nothing else. But, 100 years ago, they were cutting the fish, right? They pretty much had to when you had barbs, uh, you know what I mean, the size of dimes. <laughs> the, uh, so, this is a little knife to gut a fish, and how cool is that, that the, that the sheath is still in perfect shape, and I'll tell you, here's, so, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I, I looked at this and, and I said to myself, this kind of shows you that this guy was fishing a lot. But maybe not. I mean, this thing is in really good shape. This sheath looks like it would just fall apart if it was actually used. But it's very old. Uh, there's no doubt about that. There's no markings on it. This, this knife says marble on it. That's all it says. And it looks like it's hand stamped because it's on, a, on an angle and little things are crooked. It looks like it's, it's stamped with like, you know, maybe punches or something like that. Maybe it's not individual punches. Maybe it, it, you know, it's hard to tell. But yeah, right here, I don't. I doubt I can get you. I don't know if you can see it, but right over here it says marble. Yeah, maybe you can see it there. And um, and it's 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 uh, it's pretty it's pretty amazing find for sure. I, um, it reminds me, this whole thing about how I thought it was to cut the leader and, and, or, you know, cut the tippet and not to gut a fish. It, it reminds me of a really funny story. When we came up here, when we got this house, whatever it was, almost four years ago now, and we came up here, we, uh, next to us, there's a big sheep farm. Um, they got sheep, they got, they got, they got goats, cows, all kinds of stuff, right? But the sheep, I thought it was interesting because the guy there, he's got mm, 60, 70, 80 sheep sometimes, sometimes 100, I think. And I remember when we first started talking to him, he was like, what, you know, what, what are you, the sheep, you know, are you raising them for the wool? And he's like, no, it's, it's meat. <laughs> I'm like, right, of course, lamb, right. The, 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 you know, and, and it just, it shows you how detached that was. Because I was living in Manhattan with my wife. It, at that time, she wasn't my wife, she was my girlfriend but we were very detached and and uh, it kind of it really opened my eyes a little bit when I heard that it was so obvious and so ridiculous to think that he was raising these sheep for wool I mean it just I mean it, it was ju it's just even now four years later I think of it and I'm just that was so dumb obviously it's from it's food it's it's food right Clearly, so that's that's it. That um, that that's what I think about when, when, when I think about this knife and how I thought it was to cut, it was to cut, uh, tip it. This thing's sharp. I have I haven't actually felt it.
this thing is very sharp. Wow. Well, it just it just cuts that pretty good. This thing wasn't really used. This thing is brand new. That's what this is. This is brand new. It's completely and totally sharp. The the yeah, there's rust on it, but you know what? That marble that says it's it's stamped marble in there, that thing would have been worn away. If you were out there like, all the time cutting up fish and stuff, that would be worn away. It's, it looks brand new. Yeah, there's rust, but you know what? I mean, think about it. It's been hanging around for 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 eighty years, seventy five years, a hundred years. Who knows? It's gonna get some rust, and if you notice, the rust is very heavily on the edge that was on the outside, meaning it was in this thing, in the sheath, like this. Now this was sticking out a little bit, and and that's how it was able to get, you know, just just by just by moisture in the air, it could rust over that amount of time. Of course, yeah, really. I mean, and after I saw that, I'm like freaking, I'm looking at every single thing. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm waiting to find something else, right? But uh, there's nothing else in here. I'm I'm fairly certain about that. There is nothing else in here. That's it. Well, all right. That's the last video. Just wanted to make a short little video on this, and, and I, I thought everybody would, would would find this interesting. Really, uh, it blew me away. I'm still blown away by it. Just holding it in my hand, and um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. This thing has been really, really cool to research, and this was like the cherry on top finding this. Um, it's going to go back inside this thing right here, and you know, it may only come out a few more times in my life to show somebody if they wanted to see it. But that's it. That's it. Hmm. Really cool. Alright. Thanks everyone.